A brief overview of the documentary. This is an observational documentary that takes a deep dive into the infamous mystery of Cicada 3301, a story that focuses on where it began and the theories surrounding it. Looking at based off of the facts and what is known, all of the possible outcomes for what it truly could have been. The target audience would be 18 to 30 year olds and people who are into mysteries of the world but also like being informed about new things from within the world. The channel would preferably be a Netflix special but could possibly be a Channel 4 documentary that will air after 8pm due to complex and in-depth topics and themes. All of the sources are linked below. A brief summary of Cicada 3301. Cicada 3301 was an internet mystery that started on the social media website 4chan on the 4th of January 2012, which set the internet on a frenzy. From pictures with hidden messages in them, to hidden ciphers and audio that can only be found when looking through a spectrogram, and even real-world events that brought the entire world to band together to try and solve the mystery. Through countless ciphers and hidden links, the endless circle of clues suddenly came to a halt. The final web link that was at the end of all of the stress and effort seemed to only be a dead end, saying we want the best, not the followers. To this day, people have no clue whether Cicada 3301 was an elaborate joke meant to send the internet on a wild goose chase, or if there was a more sinister and real meaning behind it. Either way, we may never know. Chapter 1. The Star of Something Massive the mystery begins on the 4th of January 2012 on the social media website 4chan. A mysterious user who went by an anonymous name posted a simple image that stated that they were looking for intelligent individuals and that within the image, there was a hidden message that led to the next step of what would soon become a wild goose chase. It was soon discovered that using a third party software allowed people to find hidden text and information from within the first image and soon was able to mock up a link to a reddit page that would soon contain the rest of the mystery. Once the reddit page had been discovered, it was not long until the book was found as well as a specific code that when used in unison with the book would spell out the phrase, call us at the US telephone number 21439096088. Very good, you have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye. The two missing numbers stated in the audio were not long after found when looking at the size of the original image, which gave them the equation which once solved gave the address of the website. Said website showed nothing but the familiar Cicadia symbol with a countdown that once ended showed a vast number of real world coordinates that had to be discovered away from the depths of the internet. Chapter three, the real world event. Once the coordinates were posted to the newly found website, it wasn't long until people were stumbling across them in their everyday life. The coordinates located to 14 different locations in 5 completely random countries and all that was found when going to the exact coordinates were posters of the now iconic Cicada logo and a QR code, which once scanned all led to a unique image, which had their own riddle, which then led to a book, which then finally led to a website. Chapter 4. A Spanner in the Works The website that was eventually found was only accessible through Onion browsers, such as Tor, once entering the site, unless you were among the first few people to lay their eyes on the web page, you were greeted by a discouraging and almost comical message displaying a blank page with a single line of text that read, We want the best, not the followers. The select few that made it through to the next stages of the mystery were told to keep silent about everything else that follows on. And while it was obvious not everyone followed that rule, it's safe to say we will never know what occurred at the next stage of this puzzle. Chapter 5 a seeming end to a legend. After the sudden halt of the mystery due to the puzzle now supposed to be being locked to only a select few people, the river had run dry. There was total silence from Cicada for a month until they posted one final image announcing the long-awaited end to the puzzle, stating that they had now found who they were looking for and that there will be more opportunities like this one. This seemed to be the end of the mystery. Chapter 6. The Second Puzzle Exactly a year after the first image was posted to 4chan, a similar image was posted that followed the same route of the image leading to a message that leads to a book that contains a link and so forth, 
This time, the second puzzle output a piece of music instead of a phone number. Along with this, there was also another clue which in turn led to a Twitter account that posted an image that helped decipher some hidden rune language which kept itself a mystery for a long while. Just like the first puzzle, the second turned to the real world with the same idea of coordinates around the world to find the next part of the cipher. Once again, the mystery came to a halt and once again, we were left in the dark, but this time no concluding message from Cicada. Chapter 7, The Third and Final Puzzle one last time, Cicada was back, but this time was a little different. The main focus this time around was on the book that Cicada had made themselves named Liber Primus, which means first book in Latin. The rune deciphery picture that was found on the Twitter page on the last mystery now had a purpose. The book was primarily in the rune language and was further encrypted to ensure that only the best could truly solve it. As of today, out of the 74 pages within the book, around only 19 of them have been fully decoded. Ever since, this has been the final thing received from Cicada, and to this day, we have yet to solve the third puzzle. Chapter 8, Theories and Possible Outcomes Overall, Cicada 3301 is one of the internet's biggest mysteries, solely due to how widespread and in-depth the mystery became. Some of the most widespread and popular theories suggest that Cicada is a cult trying to reach out to new people to try and captivate them to join their mysterious activist cult. Others believe it's either the government or some international wide organisation looking for highly intelligent individuals to hire for their uses. Not much else is known about Cicada or what really came of any of these puzzles, but what we do know is that whoever is organising these puzzles, they're more than just a random troll trying to murk the entire internet into a wild goose chase, and is instead quite possibly work done by a high up powerful group that shouldn't be taken lightly. And that is the mystery of Cicada 3301.